I am here to show you three patients who are representative of the patients who have had mercury leaching into their bones, gums and teeth, and the health problems they have had because of it. Susie had an amalgam filling that leaked into the bone and gum above her upper right first molar. You can see the mercury coming through her gums, resulting in what we call a mercury tattoo. The only, the only way to get rid of the mercury is surgically removing it from her gums and bone. You can see the mercury filling in the extracted tooth, but I also had to go into the extracted site and remove the remaining mercury filling pieces that had migrated from the tooth into the bone and gums. In another tooth, you can see the mercury filling deep within the center of the tooth. You can see from the x-rays that the mercury has moved into the jawbone beyond the tooth. Because of mercury leaking from her tooth into the bone and gums, she developed breast cancer. Although she had a lobectomy, the cancer has spread through her body and she has now been diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Julie is another patient who had mercury leaching from her teeth into her gums and surrounding bone. In Julie's panoramic film, the teeth and the mercury filled teeth look normal. However, in this periapical x-ray of the lower right third molar area, this area right here shows mercury that has leached into the bone. Not very clear. This is a picture of the same area that has been surgically opened. You can now clearly see the black dot in the bone. This is mercury. It is not in the tooth, but leaked from the tooth into the bone. There is no way to guarantee that this will not happen. It can happen to any patient with the mercury filling, and it happens over and over and over again. Once I remove the affected bone, you can clearly see the two black dots are clearly embedded in her bone. Julie, who was a collegiate athlete, suffered from toxic mercury elements spreading through her body. Today, Julie walks with, two, with the aid of two canes. She is now crippled. Marianne came to me diagnosed with mercury toxicity. She had 14 mercury fillings. If you look at the tip of the upper right canine, there is a mercury filling outside the tooth. Mary Ann suffered from chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, incoordination, mental confusion, neurological failure, high blood pressure, thyroid failure, liver failure, and a failing immune system and she was unable to walk through a metal frame door without receiving a physical electrical shock. Unusual multiple sy sy symptoms. Here is the same tooth in a periapical x-ray with the mercury filling clearly outside the tooth into the bone. Dr. Yip, 20 We also should be open-minded to the fact that there have been a lot of restorations in place, that, that we've seen plenty of testimony here, and plenty of case studies, and lots of literature showing that restorations have been serviceable and last, last a very long time in this category. So to say that there isn't any safety data doesn't, as a dentist, as a scientist, there's plenty of Tons of safety data. Uh, I don't think we need to go back and prove safety of dental amalgams. There is a lot of safety of dental amalgams that are out there, and there's a lot of safety information just in this group. I think we're, we're, we're on a roll. Where? And I, and I, where? 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 And I, there's harm in where? this room. Well, I, you can. You can look at the longevity of restorations and the published data. One minute. Excuse me, you need to be recognized by the chair. And if you have something you want to say, you need to be recognized and come to the podium. Thank you. I want Dr. White to be, have, be accorded the courtesy to finish his statement. And I'll finish in 20 seconds. In the end, I don't think it serves us well to fight that battle, that it serves us well to look at improving upon the labeling. And we're on a roll here describing and helping the FDA and giving them guidance. So I'd love to see us get back to that. But I just wanted to make sure that there is a plan. I am convinced as a clinician, as a scientist, that I don't need any more information that I'm out
Korea was saved by removing the metal from Leipzig.